As you can see from the title, today I'm going to be talking about five habits that I've picked up since living in Germany for over five years. I just love making these videos because I think they're really quite interesting and I have a lot of subbies who want to move to Germany or just in general, I know that there are a lot of people who want to move to Germany for work or for other reasons and I'm sure you would be interested about some things that you might pick up after living in Germany for some time. So before jumping into this video, please do subscribe to my channel as as well as follow me on Instagram. I would really, really appreciate it as it does help me out. And you can as well click the bell icon below so that you're notified when I post new videos. So let's jump in with number one. So I wanna start with the most obvious one because I think Germans, they have this stereotype of being very direct and to the point. And this, in my opinion, I found to be very true. And after living here for five years, it's something that I also picked up because for example, if I ask my boyfriend a question about what I'm wearing or about what we want to eat or how my food tastes or something like that, he is going to give me the most direct answer. And this could be a positive and a negative because sometimes it's like so direct and it's like, wow, you could have sugarcoated it a little bit, but they just don't. And I found myself picking up this quality. I'm sure you guys know I am Jamaican American. And so in America, it's not known, it's not common for one to just, you know, say exactly what you're feeling. You normally like go around the topic, you beat around the bush, that saying fits it perfectly. And I don't beat around the bush anymore. Like there's no beating around the bush. I get to the point if I'm annoyed, if I don't like something, if something does not look good to me, I legit will just say it. Yeah, it's just something that I've picked up. And I don't know, I don't think I would actually go back. I kind of like it a little bit better just because I'm just not beating around the bush, right? I'm just getting to the point. Like you don't have to ask me question A, B or C to get an answer you ask me a question and I'll answer it the first time around. You Number know. two is going to be opening the windows. So this is something that I've picked up since living here and it's not to say that I never opened windows before, like please don't get me wrong, that's not what I'm saying, but it's something here that's like really a thing, like letting air through your apartment, letting air through your house, opening the window for at least five to ten minutes every single day, it's really a thing. I lived in three places in Germany, so three apartments, and every apartment the landlord actually said you need to to open the windows every single day and that was that like it was not even a question it was like this is a request when you move in here you need to open the windows and I've seen this as well going to other German families homes they like always open the windows like windows are just always open there's always air coming through and so that's something that I also do I definitely open all of the windows every single morning winter or summer just to air out the apartment and let out whatever nasty air was residing overnight number three is going to be something similar to airing out the apartment so I never really did this I know a lot of Americans don't do this this is I think maybe even a European thing but Germans clean their showers every single day and this is mostly due to the calc so you don't want calc buildup in your shower so literally you have to clean your shower every single day Day. The same three apartments that I've lived in, again, that was one of the requirements from the landlords. So They're just like, you need to clean the shower, you know, every single day. Like they showed you the little squeegee thingy and you have to, you know, wipe away the water as well as get like a cloth and then dry everything out. So this is something that I do every single day. And when I go on vacation in the US, it's like so foreign for me not to clean the shower. But it's just a habit that I as well have picked up while living in Germany. Number four is going to be having coffee and cake. Guys, I have never eaten so much coffee and cake in my life. I don't even like coffee. Like coffee is not my thing. I am not a coffee fan, but since coming to Germany, when I tell you it's like every Sunday there's coffee, there's cake. So Germans really, really love their coffee and cake. And I could see it as an equivalent to, for example, the British people, they love their tea. First of all, I was never a cake eater. Like I hated cake on my birthdays. I never ever had cake. The only thing that I would eat is cheesecake 
cake. Like I said, I was never really into coffee, but here on the weekends, every time me and my boyfriend go out, we're always having cake. Just know when you come here, you probably will like coffee and cake because it's just such a normal thing to do. So yeah, that's, that's now a habit of mine. I now like cake. The last thing that I want to mention, so number five is going to be eating bread. Literally every single Sunday, there is always going to be bread on the table, like loaves of bread, bread buns, pretzels, like bread. Germans really, really love bread. And I never ate bread like that when I was living in New York. I was never eating bread. It never really crossed my mind. The only type of bread I ate was like bagels. And that would just be seldom. I think around every corner in everyone's neighborhood, there is a bakery. And a bakery is kind of different than what we would think of it as in the US. So before I came to Germany, I always imagined a bakery to be with cake. You know, like if you want to get a birthday cake or something like that. In Germany, the term is a little bit different. It's basically referring to like where you can go and get bread you can also get cake there but it's like a huge assortment of bread that you can buy and so yeah i'm just eating bread all the time every weekend for breakfast my boyfriend goes out and he gets a bag full of bread from the bakery and we just sit there and we eat bread we have jam we have like fruits and that's also a thing i was never really a breakfast person i never like ate breakfast it was never something like special in my family or any of my friends back in the states this is something that i've picked up like breakfasting and eating bread although i'm trying to cut back on the bread just because of all of the carbs i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video found it light fun please in the comment section let me know what habits you've picked up and it doesn't necessarily have to be from germany maybe you lived in the uk spain wherever you are and you've been living there for some time just let me know what habits you've picked up it's actually quite interesting and fun to hear what other people have picked up i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one